So, hello class. Good morning. So, we're basically done with talking about simple interest. And then we had a series of discussions and series of problems pertaining to that, diba? if you can remember. Then we've also talked about um, compound amount in which you learn that you can also manipulate the formula um, while um, it is useful in solving for the compound amount, it can also be used in solving for the present value of a particular problem, diba? Um, that is your previous activity. Now, we move to that uh, discussion on the time value of money's class. And more particularly, we're going to talk about annuities here. Okay? So, in the course of the discussion, you will meet several terms. Okay? Um, you will be meeting... Um, what is meant by annuities, we have um, perpetuities, then complex cash flow streams. So what is annuities? So um, probably you have heard this one many times already, but it's just that uh, you did not understand what is meant by this. Mayong Gekag Annuities class, it's a series of payments um, equal, equal length of time in an equal length of time. So, series of payments in an equal length of time. So, for example, every month, makadawat ka of payment, that is annuity. That is basically annuity. Um, the opposite of that is lump sum, which I have told you in the preceding discussions that we have that ang lump sum, kausahon, bulto pagdawat. But annuities, you have a series of payments in an equal interval, every equal interval. So, monthly baka ha, um, quarterly baka ha, semi-annually baka ha, or yearly baka ha. Muna siya annuities. Now, ang perpetuity class, um, from the word itself, di ba, you're familiar with perpetual. So, forever. So, naman tayo usahay, nasa'y problem solving diri ang mo pertain to perpetuities. Meaning to say, e mo compute dun, panangitan, uh, ang, ang, ang kasagaran problems in sa perpetuities class, pangutanon ka, how much will you set aside today if uh, if ganahan ka na forever na kay dawato na kwarta? So that is perpetuity. That is the problem of perpetuity. But however, um, as early as this point, I want to caution you that perpetuities, um, you can only solve for the present value, but you cannot solve for the future value because basically forever when ka magdawat sa kwarta. So you cannot solve for its future value, okay? Now, we also have, we all, in terms of an annuities class, we have several types. We have ordinary annuity and um, annuity due. So what is the difference between the two? When you say ordinary annuity, the um, payment has been made at the, at the end of the part, uh, at the end of the, um, time interval. Diba ni ingon ta annuities, makadawat ka og kwarta every time, inter every equal time interval. So, it's either monthly, quarterly, or semi-annually or yearly, diba? So, ang annuity, ang ordinary annuity, madawat ni mo ang payment at the end of the time interval. That is ordinary annuity. Then, we have what we call as annuity due. Annuity due is the um, receipt of payment at the beginning of the time interval. So, kung monthly na siya, kung ano hay January, February, at um, ang madawat ni mo ang payment, every January 1, every February 1, madawat ni mo ang payment. Mo na siya and with you. Okay? So, clear na ha ang difference sa what is meant by annuity, what is meant by perpetuity, then we have the kinds of annuities. We have ordinary annuity and annuity due. Ordinary annuity, receipt of payment at the end of the time interval. Um, annuity due is the receipt of payment at the beginning of the time interval. Then natay gitawag class nga, this is not common. If we still have time, we're going to cover this. But I doubt if we can still discuss this, but just for purposes of discussion today, I will introduce you to the concept of deferred annuity. What is deferred annuity? From the word itself, deferred, meaning to say, gihuwat ang, ang particular time interval, usa ka nakadawat sa payment. So, kuan kunuhay, 
kuno kay uh, anwiti gihapon siya that is series of payment gihapon using um, fixed time interval or equal time interval pero dili dayon diha diha ni mo madawat kay ang ang ordinary anwiti ug ang anwiti ju diha diha pag uh, ingon nga first month kung monthly makadawat din ka sa payment pero sa deferred annuity deferred usay siya ang payment from the word itself deferred pero mitan usa be after one year pa ni mo nadawat ang annuity nga nga payment so that is deferred annuity okay so clear na ang type sa annuity annuities and perpetuities now in terms of annuities class um, there are two things that you have to remember. Short na kayo niya discussion class. This is just a short video. After this, we can have an exam already. But in terms of annuities, um, talking about in annuities, like I said, perpetuities, wala may future value. But for annuities, you can both compute for the present value and the future value. Of course, um, you know the difference between present value and future value. You have been computing this in the previous discussions that we have. When you say present value, how much is the value of the money that you are going to receive in the future today? So how much is the value of the money today? When you say future value, how much is the money, how much will the money be worth after a series of payment or after a, a particular time interval so future value and present value so ang ang imong ang imong diri sa kini nga to nga lesson ang imong tigam-an class is um ang first nimo tan-awon is ordinary annuity ba or annuity due ba so that's the first thing that you have to figure out whether it's ordinary annuity or annuity due and then after you have figured out whether it's ordinary annuity or annuity due, um, the next step that you're going to uh, decipher or to figure to figure out is kung present value ba or future value ba. Karon kung ma distinguish na ni mo kung ordinary annuity or annuity due or kung present value or future value, you can proceed with the computation na using the formula. Okay? So Distinguish between an ordinary annuity and annuity due. Again, ordinary annuity, the payment is at the end of the time interval. When you say annuity due, the payment is at the beginning of the time interval. And calculate present value and future values. Okay? You know basically what is meant by present value and what is meant by future value. Present value, how much is the money worth today? Future value, how much will the money be worth in the future after five years after 10 years after 20 years okay and then um let's uh let's take a close look at uh at learning objective number one ng asa class let's set aside learning objective number two and number three so annuities okay an annuity is a series of equal dollar payment that are made at the end of equidistant points in time such as monthly, quarterly, or annual, annually over a finite period of time. So, mauna to akong iingon. Annuity is the opposite of lump sum. Ang lump sum, kausahon pagbayad. Ang annuity is a series of payments um, through equal time intervals. Okay? So, monthly makadawat kag monthly nga payment makadawat ka og annual nga payment quarterly nga payment baka that is annuity okay if um, and then there are types of annuity that i have discussed you have ordinary annuity and annuity due when you say ordinary annuity payments are made at the end of each period the annuity is referred to as ordinary annuity so if payments are made at the end of each period the annuity is referred to as ordinary annuity. And then if the payment is made at the beginning of the period, that's um, annuity due. Okay? Ang katong deferred annuity, from the word itself deferred, dili dayo ni mo madawat ang payment after some time pa, after a, a, a particular time interval. That is annuity due. And that is um, deferred annuity. So let's take for a look. Let's take a close look at this example. How much will, how much money will you accumulate by the end of the year, 10, 10, year 10, if you deposit 3,000 each for the next 10 years in a savings account that earns 5% per year? Um, 
we determine the answer by using the equation of computing the fourth future value of an ordinary annuity. Again, kini siya nga problem, dili panilibog class nga naman. Kay kay ba man kang ang atong giistoryahan there is future value and present a uh, future value of ordinary annuity but how how about ko mag magsagol na na diha ang imong problems ikaw na yung determine so ang first step imo i determine of future value ba na siya or 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 present value and then pagka human ni mog determine ana imo i determine kung ordinary annuity ba or annuity due para makaiba ka unsa nga formula ang gamiton. Okay? Para makaiba ka unsa nga formula ang gamiton. But in this problem, it is clear because we're talking about future value of ordinary annuity. Okay? So what is the formula? So that is the formula. Future value of ordinary annuity is equivalent to payment close parenthesis 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1 over i. So future value of uh, annuity at the end of the end period ang FB. Payment, annuity payment deposited or receive, uh, receive, receive at the end of each period. So, pila ang ma, madawat ni mo um, every every um, every payment, uh, every period, every equal time interval or equidistant time interval. Then, interest rate per period. Number of periods for which annuity will last. Okay? So, same ragi ha po ng I dere class. If, if um, uh, quarterly, you divide that one by four. If semi-annually, you divide that one by two. Okay? If, um, if basically, if yearly, divide by one, then raise to the power of N, which is um, time, if two years, times, unya, monthly, two times 12. So, same ragi ha po sa katong inyo na learn. So, there is uh, how much money will you accumulate by the end of year 10 if you deposit for 10 years in a savings account that earns 5% per year. So, okay. so, using the formula, that's 3,000. Then, I is 0 0.05 ka yearly man. Then, 10 years man divided by 0 0.05. So, the answer is 37,740. Now you can also you can also um, uh, manipulate the formula, which uh, later on na nato siya i discuss. Okay, kato lang asay for now. So uh, you have to practice. Uh, you have to practice, or you have to familiarize yourself with um, the problem solving. And then next meeting, I will give you a series of. Uh, problems to work on. Okay? So, remember ha, ang I di ha, kung imo gihapon i-divide, kung quarterly, kung, kung quarterly, kung um, um, semi-annually, uh, annually baka ha, or monthly baka ha, and then raise to the power of N, kung monthly, niya 2 years, 2 times 12 gihapon. Okay? Same ra gihapon. Okay? So, kana lang say for now. Okay? Um, next, next, uh, like I said, gitihay-tihay ko rani ang atong topics class because, uh, bubo raman good ni siya. Mong ako lang gidivide-divide. So, if you can see, um, tinagsara ang atong discussion and then we have to, um, uh, solve many times, many, um, activities. Okay? So, that's it for today.